Oh, good morning. So I drink a little bit of coffee here this morning. And we're gonna get on the... We're gonna all on some grains, so... Like I said the other day, um... We got some canola haul, we got some wheat as well. And to be honest, there isn't a lot of snow out here. Normally we have about a foot of snow about this time of year. So it's kinda odd, but... Nothing we can't handle, so... Got all the equipment all parked up in here, snugly. I could probably fit the drill in here. I might try to do that next this winter, or after seeding this year. But try to put the drill in here. Probably ran along this side wall here. Um, everything fits somehow. Probably could have backed this thing up a little bit, but I definitely got it close. Um, yeah. So let's get um this uh. 1586 started right up here. There you go. Oh, uh, fired up, ready to go for the day. Let's open up uh, these two doors here. There you go. I think we have to bring it down to one of the elevators. Um, let's let, let the tractor warm up for a bit here, I think. Before you try to take that out, so. It's a little dark out yet. I gotta check a couple things for contract wise, see if, uh, where we actually gotta go, so. Oh, yeah, and this, uh, too. This is the new grain truck I had bought. In. I had bought. Um, we had. The original deal was about four grand, so I was able to bring it down to about thirty-five hundred. So that's where I got the truck for. I've been doing quite a bit of work to it since all pretty much all in November, and since uh, last time I recorded. So can't wait to actually start using this thing. So I think we're actually gonna try using it today. Um, after we bring the canola down, we're gonna start and. Uh, Bring this down to the uh, hauling grains wheat with it. We'll haul some wheat. I gotta keep some wheat for seeding, so. Store. There we go. I just gotta grab some papers from inside. And I'll see you guys in a uh, hot second. Okay. So I know where we gotta go, but decide to check tires and stuff. The, uh, Tires on the uh, guard wagon were a little low, so I decided to fill it up. It is extra time, so. We're gonna get going here. I put this thing in the gear here. There we go. Def definitely does not like the gravity wagon very much, but it pulls it just fine, so. Shouldn't complain too much. Let's get some head some lights on here. There you go. Don't want them any too bright, so let's put these hazards on as well. So we don't get in trouble with the local law enforcement, of course. So we're gonna take a little bit down the dirt road a little ways, so head down the highway in that direction over there. To the uh the next uh dirt road, so Stop here at least. I guess at least we're good to go, I think. At least get in front of this car. Let's get over to the other side of the road at least, so. The only thing I wish this thing had was mirrors. It does not have mirrors on it, which sucks. Because I would love it for it to have some mirrors at least, so. But, nothing we can really do about that right now, so. I think I'm just gonna keep driving here, so 
see you guys when we uh, get closer and I see something interesting. Okay, so I decided to bring you guys back. It's uh, going up upon a dealership actually. New dealership here. Um, I got some pretty cool equipment over here. I think that's their actually brand new drill they have. So, got some used equipment and stuff like that. Let's see what they look as they drive by. Not too bad. I like that uh, MX though. Oh, go in the ditch a little bit. Some drills. And then I think I actually gotta bring uh, my combine down to them one of these days to get looked at, so. There we go. This thing is a really bad shift to them. I have to see, get them to bring it in and see what they can do about it, too. Maybe um, dark seating. Or raptor seating. We'll have to see. There's no lines here today, so that's always nice. There. Get some open up, there you go. Should make it quite a bit out of this here at least, so we'll see up to see. Might take a little bit of a while though. Not too bad place really. I think I know for sure the canola goes here. I can't remember where the wheat it's gotta go yet. I'll have to double check on that one. So just gonna walk around till it's done, so definitely taking its time. It seems like we're making quite a bit of money as well. This is already paid for the truck, so hopefully the wheat can make quite a bit as well. We'll have to see. But I know I want to keep some wheat because I want to do um, make some seed. Don't know how much I'm going to need though. Oh, that? Okay, so I made about just about ten thousand dollars. That's not too bad. See, so I can get that. Again, put this back in gear. Not bad, just about 10 grand. It's pretty good for canola for how much we got, so won't complain. I think we're gonna do a quick swing to the dealership there with the tractor. And hopefully, we don't catch a salesman's eyes. He'll probably suck me and buy me something else. Maybe buy something else. Or try to buy something else. There's a drill back there I like I like there. Let's go through the back way. I know there's a back entrance. For traffic, yeah. I'm just gonna ignore that sign. Who's not there? I think it's over here. Yeah, there it is. There's a nice header. Yeah, that was actually the header I was talking about. Let's talk to him about that. Then about that. Um, that's the header that's going to be going on the combine next year, so. Did talk to him about that a little bit already. I'm in contact with him. Right now we're just trying to make, at the point of making a deal. So. Just figuring all that out right now. Not bad drills, though. Got an old case flexi coil, seed hawk, looks like about a 60 foot drill. I how big this drill is. How would uh how good it'd be on our uh on our farm. Interesting. Nice big drill though. There's no way I could better pull that with the tractors I have. I need one of those big quad tracks over there.
Well, I guess I'll head back to the farm and I'll get the auger and stuff set up there and let you guys know when uh, we're filling the grain truck. See you guys in a hot second. Okay, so we've been going for a little bit here. Got the John Deere A out since like the other tractor wasn't wasn't able to fit. So Let's go on. I think that's the turn this tractor off. Doesn't need to be on. There you go. That's our first truckload full of the day. See here. Back this up here. Try not to back into anything here. Let me just check here. Let's see. Here. I got this paper out here in a second. Okay. So the double check to see where we had to go here. So. Always good to check before you go and you don't know, get to the wrong place, so. This is gonna be my first real load on this truck, so. Seems like it's pulling, it's like not a lot of issue. Shifting good. So that's always a good sign. kind of see there. It's kind of hard to see. Might they readjust those mirrors, especially this one here. Can't even see that one. Kind of suck. This is a very nice truck, so should readjust that later. pretty good for the bumps and stuff and lots of power. It's kind of what I wanted, so. Just gonna uh, properly stop, that's all. Taking us longer down here compared to the uh, 1586, so or whatever it is. Can't quite remember off the top of my head, so. Yeah, this is where we gotta go, so. I gotta dump in pit two if I remember correctly. Here. These guys here are pretty nice. They'll uh, they can open up my top for me. So there we go. Gate. Okay, let's get this PTO engaged here. Here, here we go. Hopefully this uh, box doesn't go too high. Find out in about 30 seconds. Well, it definitely didn't hit the roof. Let's jump out and take a look here. Yeah, we didn't hit the roof. Pull another pretty good. Bring that down. There we go. Wait for that to go down. They're gonna give me my ticket and I can go, so. I 
Okay, thank you. See you in a bit.